And Kelsey, if you want to do roll call, please. Yes. Mr. Torpy? Here. Mr. Day? Present. Ms. Perez? Present. Mr. Locklear? Present. And Mr. Glasner? Here. Thank you. All right, and then we'll move on to staff reports. All right, just a few things for you guys tonight. Um, we did have our Trash Bash event on April 1st. We hosted four locations throughout the city. We had Shepherd Park, um, Bicentennial Park, Downtown, and the Thousand Islands. We had over 50 volunteers participate, and Bob was actually a site captain. So, Bob, did you want to say anything else? We, get, we found a lot of stuff on one of the islands. And apparently, we've got some residents out there, or at least had been residents for, for a while. And uh, we probably took close to 100 pounds of stuff off the <sighs> island. So. Yeah, you guys, like, filled up the boat. Yeah. Yeah, we really did. There was a lot of, lot of, you know, cans, bottles, snack stuff, and actually, uh, you know, cans of Franco-American spaghetti that got, you know, that, plus tarps, plus this, plus that. So, a lot of interesting things. No, well, they you weren't know. living there. Yeah, if you had we, cans, we, food. yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, so we, we we spent actually probably close to three hours on the island alone. And usually those types of things, it's only you know an hour or so you can pick up the, the cans and bottles, but uh, they were scattered here, there, and everywhere. So kept us busy. Great. Good. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, that event I think was a success. A lot of people got to participate. Um, the next thing that I wanted to make you guys aware of is we have been discussing sea turtle lighting. Um, I know we talked about the sea turtles lighting in survey that was done last year. Um, we sent 36 lighting letters to properties. So 36 properties received letters within the past month. Um, and we've already been in contact with several, several of those properties to um, have site visits with them and identify how they can fix those lights and make them a little bit more turtle friendly. So we're still in the process of contacting all 36, but they've definitely been reaching out. So we'll keep moving with that. Are, are they are they single family or a multifamily or a little bit of everything? Um, it's a lot of multifamily. There was, from what I remember, there's only a handful of single family homes. Yeah. Most of them are the larger buildings that are a lot taller and that are easier right. to see the lights right. over the plants. Do you have people uh, complain about you coming to their house, about the, <laughs> asking them to dim their lights, or are people so receptive? Yeah, so I'm not knocking on anybody's door to give this information to them. They got a letter in the mail, and then the letter, like all of our code enforcement letters, says you have to contact us. We're not going to come to your door and talk to you about this. So people have been reaching out. A lot of people have been reaching out. So. Angry or hmm? not angry? Um, a lot of people are, you know, just wanting to kind of understand exactly what they need to do to correct the situation. I, I wouldn't say that anybody is... I don't know. It's, everybody seems to be fine with yeah. everything. They just want to understand how they can fix the situation. Okay. Good. Yeah. Great. And I'm actually um, meeting with the Best Western after this meeting tonight. So hopefully we'll be able to work with them as well. Um, okay. And then the next thing is every year we do our annual tree giveaway for Earth mm -hmm. Day. So this year we are going to have our tree giveaway on April 22nd, which is Earth Day. Um, so at 9 a.m., we're going to have the Florida Forest Service give a tree planting and selection and care workshop, similar to what they did last year at the Pool Pavilion. So that'll be at 9 a.m. Um, everybody that attends that workshop will get a number and basically have free or first picks at the trees. So we're <laughs> going to have some, you know, like last year, just a few of some of the special trees because they're a little bit more expensive for us to purchase. Um, and then after that, they'll just be the free for all kind of drive through that we've done the years past. Um, so that'll actually be on a Saturday this year after the workshop at 11.30 to 3.30. So I'll be looking for some volunteers to help pass out trees to our residents on that day if you guys are interested. Uh, we moved it to a Saturday just from feedback in previous years. Some people yeah. were at work, and, mm -hmm. you know, wanted to participate. So hopefully by having it on Saturday, that'll be good. Are you going to do the, the giveaway out here or back at the pool pavilion? Um, so it'll be out front of Public Works. Yep. Okay, same mm -hmm. place we did. So okay. 422 is Saturday? Yes. Okay. So the workshop is at 9 a.m. And then it's the giveaway after? Mm -hmm. The giveaway is after. So we'll just have all the trees loaded up on a trailer, and then I'll just drive them over to the drive through area out front of Public Works after the workshop. Okay. And then if we have any trees left, we'll have another drive through on Monday, April 24th. <laughs> Okay. At 11.30 to 3.30. Um, the Minutemen muster is the same. It's a 5K race. It's the same morning. Mm -hmm. um, 
don't know if that's going to be an issue with traffic, but you also might want to consider making an announcement at that race too, because people are going to be right here. Where is that? I don't know what the race route is. I don't know if they're doing anything from the high school, because I know it's supposed to be supporting the high school track. Okay. Um, but it's in Cocoa Beach. I'm just, I don't know what the race route is. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, that could be a conflict. Graphic-wise, that could right. be a conflict, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, then we might change the date. I will let you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the pool pavilion is available, so okay. you may still have it there, but we will see. <laughs> Thank you okay. for letting me know. Mm -hmm. um, and then Adria just let me know that Freedom 7 will be coming to do their yearly presentation, their student presentations about their student sustainability projects on May 3rd. So we'll have them at our next meeting. And that is all I have. Okay. 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 Thank you very much, Kelsey. We will move on to, uh, we have old business here, but there's nothing to address for old business. So then we will move on to new business. And at this meeting, we have the discussion of the Community Sustainability Award, our inaugural award. So in your packets, you have all of the nominees. You also received those by email. So I hope you've had time to review all of those. Uh, there were four Nom four submitted nominations this year, which I think is great. I'm so excited about that. Yeah, it's really good. Um, so, Kelsey, do you have a suggestion for how we move forward with this evaluation or discussion? Because I yes, okay. Um, so, what the the intent of the discussion today is maybe to um, if individual members have anything they wanted to point out that they thought was special or different about a project or if anybody had any questions or clarification that they wanted to see if anybody else in the group um, has any information on, that would be something we could discuss. As far as your scores, that will be something that you all complete individually after this meeting and you're going to bring it back to the next meeting. So we can have general discussion, but as far as your ranking, that needs to remain you know, to yourself until it's presented next week. Yeah, a question. A quick question on that. Um, what if we have a tie? A tie? Yeah. What if <laughs> I'm serious? What if two of them are 91 or 70, whatever a high score is? Yeah. Well, Both they would kids. be two. Uh, trying to think. Who submitted it first? <laughs> <laughs> because we're going. They're ranked by the lowest score, lowest number, right? Yeah. So the way that this will work, um, if you flip to kind of the end of your packet. There's this paper. So each of you will fill out this paper with um, the score out of 100. Mm -hmm. And then when you report this to me, you'll give me your score out of 100, but then you'll also give me your ranking. So for example, if somebody gets a 99 out of 100, they're probably number one. So that's how we'll tally them. So if several of these groups get number one, then that person will only have a low score. Therefore, it's the person with the lowest score that means they rank higher. That kind of weeds out would any. You, um, what, would you say that again? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so when you fill out this paper, yes. mm -hmm. what you're going to do is you're going to give me your score mm -hmm. out of 100, mm -hmm. and then you're going to rank them based on that. Mm -hmm. So if they get 99, they're number one. Number two is a two, and then you're going to report to me your number one, two, three, and four. So you're going to tell me maybe your, uh, for example, Keep okay. Regard Beautiful is number one for me, number okay. two, that kind of thing. That, okay, yeah. that, that makes sense to me because, Jim, you're because right. you're, still you're, you're 99 <laughs> might be my 88, right. you know, so that's... Right. Mm -hmm. that and so then sense. it kind of weeds out everybody's different scores. Yeah, yeah. right. Now are the... Okay, Rankings. Are, we still can have ties. So they you're have right. a definition because or, what, or you can have have based on each you know, section? A one and one, one, one and one and a Like a two and a one. Continue whatever the you know. global impact? Is that part of their thing or is that just... Yeah, I think Adrian might be able to kind of clear that up. Well, the sorry, page before in the package goes like how like I don't understand story. what is continued mean. So, um, when we talked, right when we talked about that one, the continuation one. Mm -hmm. that, so was this something that was a one-off project? Like you know, you can go do a beach cleanup. So you as a person, you can go and do a beach cleanup. You can gather four of your friends and go do it, and it makes a good you know it makes an impact. You've actually done something positive. Mm -hmm. But have you set something up where that? that action can continue. So maybe, you know, you did this one-time thing that was really great and contributed to the things that we care about, but it happened one time. 
and you don't have any mechanism to kind of keep that going to, to make a greater impact. Gotcha. So is there some sort of system in place or did you create a program or did you create partnerships or something that now can move that to keep going? I got you. Okay. Yeah. And some of them can be a one-time project, like we're going to build something or right. you know, something like that. Right. So. Which is still, you know, we don't want to deter things right, exactly. like that. They would still score highly in some areas, but, you know, we do want to take into consideration that when people are creating these projects that they are thinking in the long term, is there a way that we can sort of keep it going? Okay. So we're rewarding that aspect. Okay. And the description of the continuity thing is on that page. I, I see it right here on the back page yeah. of that. Yeah. So I, was, I just haven't read that yet. Okay. In each, in each, one of the things you want to make sure you point out is the one through six each um, have a different uh, scoring mm -hmm. a point system. Mm -hmm. Right. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, that I, was chosen by the group okay. when this was made. Yeah, so we could give weight <clears throat> to the things that we thought as a, a committee were the most important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, does anyone have a question or comment on any of the specific well, nominees? Let me, let me say right offhand okay. that uh, I, I have, I guess, a semi-conflict with Keeper of Our Beautiful. I'm on their board, and uh -huh. uh, I've, I've known Mrs. Roselip for, for a while and worked with her on several things. So, again, that guy, I guess that guy, Kelsey and I talked about this last time, and I guess they, basically I have to let you know, guys know that I'm, I have a conflict, but apparently I can still score. So. so I've heard of Keep Brevard Beautiful, and I know they're all over the place. But I mean, have any of these other people ever been doing active projects like Keep Brevard Beautiful? Uh, yeah, if you read through the green, the green team one has done, mm -hmm. apparently, according to the literature, let's put it that way, they've done a number of things. Obviously, the Freedom 7 has presented before this board a couple times on, okay. projects, on things that they've done with their, with their students. And Mrs. So Russell, these aren't like all first time people just submitting? Yeah. Like, I know the Keeper of our Beautiful. I know who they are, but, like, right. the yeah. other people, I don't know. When like, you read is this, their, like, a one-time thing to get an award, or is this, like, something they're doing all the time? When you read their professional bio, it'll give a, a history of their... All right. Well, this, this is the first year we've had this award, though. So okay. To, nobody's done this before. These are the first, okay. the first four nominees for this. Yeah. This is the first, first year we've ever done it. First rodeo okay. for yeah. this. So one thing I'll just um, kind of add to that comment is in your packet, you'll find the information that each individual group submitted about yeah. themselves. Oh, okay. So, um, you know, regardless of if you know any additional information about the group, you know, maybe subjectively right. evaluate them based on the information they have provided for this award. Right. You need to, you need to, you need to review it based on the packet on, on, on any response to any questions we have tonight or have had in the past. Yeah, not what you not what you generally know about the organization. It has to be on what they yeah, what yeah, they, know what they submitted. Yes, I, yeah. I honestly thought we were turning our scores in today. <laughs> so did I. I actually thought <laughs> so too. I, <laughs> I, I, I knew I you were on vacation <laughs> for a couple of weeks, and you said if you had any questions about groups, while well, I'm, you know, you can email me or or you gave us another name, right. and I'm like, I know. I, so I scored them like a week ago. <laughs> I, I did mine in pencil with an eraser just yeah, because I thought exactly. I was going to do this tonight. I thought they were doing it right. Yeah, so. listen, I may be influenced by yeah. other people's comments. I thought of that too. <laughs> very, very, all four, very, very impressive. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, as Andrew started to say at the beginning, I, I was just thrilled that I was there were pleased. four nominees. I, I, was, I was afraid, that, oh my gosh, what if we don't get any nominees? Well, we could put a lot of work into this. And, it's like, huh. yeah. But having four, you know, decent nominees is, yeah, good. yeah, it's really great. I want to disclose something as well, just, just to be clear. I have children that go to Freedom Seven and to Cocoa Beach, and have had Miss Roslip as teacher. So I do know more about these programs yeah. from my personal experience. I I did my very best to you know, rate them and score them based on the information that was presented, right. just to be completely transparent. Very good. And Kelsey, I guess uh, you, from the email you sent out an hour or so ago that uh, you, 
at least took my questions and forwarded them and got three responses. Uh, yes, so I only received uh, questions from Bob, I believe. I didn't get any from anybody else. But um, two groups responded, so Brevard Green Team and um, uh, the <coughs> vice principal from Mrs. Roselip's well, school yep. responded, and those responses I emailed them to you, and they're also in your packet, so you can review those as well. Oh, great. All right, so any other discussion of the nominees? Yeah, I, I, okay. so next, next Wednesday we, we come up with, hopefully, an, an award winner. And then, then what? How, do we, how does it get awarded? I know we talked about this. What are the, the next steps? Mm -hmm. And we're doing one award, right? Is that yes. correct? One award. That's what we said. We said uh, or, uh, oh. I, I, I thought what we said was that the city commissioner was going to do the award. Yes. So. Um, it will be presented at the commission meeting on 18th, Tuesday the 18th, unless the individual is unavailable that day because we had originally announced that it would be on the 20th, but the commission changed their meeting to the 18th. <laughs> um, so the 18th is the date for now. What is that? Where the world, it will be presented. When you say 18th, you're talking? Tuesday, April 18th. April 18th. So yeah. 7 p.m. City Commission. It's like, like a week, two weeks away or less. Yeah. So do you um, want our scores emailed to you then? So the committee, so if you uh, remember, there's a schedule. I don't know if I printed it for you guys. In the packet, there's a schedule. Um, the committee is going to meet next Wednesday to publicly present the scores. Okay. That's typically, you know, how okay. it's done. Just That's to make right. sure it's in the open. Mm -hmm. Thank you for reminding me. And uh, <clears throat> so we just bring our sheets with us next Wednesday, and, you and you'll read your up. scores aloud, okay. each person, yeah. and then you'll turn your paper into me, so I have it on file. Okay. Okay. And we're doing that at six thirty next Wednesday. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. What's that date? Yeah. It's the twelfth. The twelfth. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you've heard Jim's, co well. Jim's comments on these, the way he on these, and I'll, 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 I'll offer my two cents. An um, I thought both the school ones were pretty well done. Uh, the, I, you'll, you'll see that uh, I don't know if my questions have been put out or not, but they're certainly available. There are a few things that I had to ask about the school ones. But I will say that uh, the KBB one was... I, I didn't find it felt very responsive. There was, I think, a fair amount of missing information in, in, in that one. And in the green team, uh, they talked a lot about things that they have done here, there, and elsewhere. And specifically, I can, you know, they talked about having recycle, recycle collection at various events in the city, and I don't recall ever seeing anything there. And uh, a few other things that went on. And, uh, and, and again, in addition, they made some comments about they're working with the city to do solar for recharging the golf carts. And I, I haven't heard anything about that. And I guess Kelsey had not heard much either. either. And that was the one question I, that I did not put on my list that I thought of later. And I think that's something that truly needs to be asked of them is what's the, where are they at in the process of their any any timeline? Is there discussions with the city? Is there a contract in the process in in the works? You know, it's it was just kind of a yeah, we're doing this, and no further information. That's what that was my my take on those two. Again, there were certain things about uh, the Freedom Seven and Miss Roselips that uh, I had had a series of questions, and you'll I know my Roselips the questions from Miss Roselips were are in the package here, but there are. There are some additional ones, similar ones that I had for the Freedom Seven package. So, any case, that's that's my two cents on this. So. I had the same impressions as you, Bob. Like my sentiments exactly. Okay. No, I did too. Okay. Yeah, because I I really have some on the, on the green team. I really we really need to meet them. For me, anyway, a whole lot more information on what they've done and how where you know how it's benefited the city. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize they 
you know, I, I took them for their word. Yeah, they exactly. Said, you know, they said they were working with the city on Trust the, golf, the golf course <laughs> carts. I assumed they had an agreement with the city. I didn't know they didn't. So just because I'm not aware doesn't mean it's not happening. Right. So I can yeah. reach out to the, I don't work here at the golf course. Right. I can ask somebody and see if they know anything about it if you guys want. See if there's yeah. any more information that might be helpful. Yeah. Because again, they're, you know, they're, even their, I quickly skimmed what they came back on. They talked about the solar powered yeah. golf carts that they're yeah. running back and forth. And I got to admit, I haven't seen them here in town. The golf cart I've seen around hauling people back and forth is the the tipsy, tipsy, what a tipsy trolley or whatever it is. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I, I just, and again, I just skimmed what they sent back and mm -hmm. I yeah. didn't get a, didn't get a real, <laughs> Feeling that we've gotten a lot of information. That's what I can say at this point. Yeah. One, one, one of the programs in particular, you know, hit me uh, personally how I how I want to impact our local community. So it was especially special to me, and it was really a well done, Miss um, Miss. Uh, in my opinion, Miss Ros Roslitz. 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 Yeah. Just what a phenomenal program she's putting together. Impressive for me. Yep. Uh, it, yeah. Both the school ones are good. Yeah. Yes. I don't. I'm, I don't know how I'm going to put one above the other. To be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> Any case. Yeah. Any other discussion of the nominees? Comments. Anybody want to share their tentative answer? <laughs> uh, Adria, can I ask a few things? Yes, of course. Um, can we circle back to what if there is a tie? I think that oh, needs to be yes. worked out yes. beforehand. Then I think we need to have a vote here. <laughs> well, one, one, five here. one thing you could do with a tie is you could say, it was a tie. We're awarding two, two awards this year. Yeah. We could do that. Mm. Just if they're both if they're both worthy, they're both worthy. Yeah, you know? this is true. Um, yeah, I, I would I would suggest if, if there's a tie, there's a tie. It's hard to claim a winner though. I think you need a winner. I really do. I hate to, and when you have a competition, you you want to have a winner. I think in any any kind of competition, whether it's a spelling bee or <laughs> uh, uh, you need to have a winner and. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with the tie thing, mm, I, okay. um, but uh, th there are certainly it's possible that two are worthy of winning for sure. If we if there's a tie in the rankings, can we go to the scoring criteria number? Mm, that's a good idea. And that's hard because, like I said before, you know, my, I'm, I'm looking at this this thing of her. Or positive impact. I'm saying oh, that's really good. That's a that's really good. That's a 25. Mm -hmm. For you, really good might be a 27. You know, we haven't that's broken true. that down. Right. Uh, maybe one thing we could do in a tie is say, okay, we have a tie. Uh, now we're down to two. Let's <laughs> vote on the one. Two, the five yeah. of us here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I agree. It, it's, it, it can't turn out to be two to two. I think that's the way to do that. I agree. I think that's the way. The yeah. Do we have a motion? Straightforward. Do we need a motion for that? I think it's just a policy. <laughs> we need a motion. We want to put that into a nice sentence. To the record. Shall I move? I move that in the case of a, a tie in the rankings for the sustainability award, that it is put to a vote among the committee members. For the winner? <laughs> first and second. For the first and second. Yeah, there's a three way tie. Result to resolve the tie. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I just say everybody no, I, wins. Yes, I, <laughs> we're I all winners. I mean, they're I don't all think it's, to something. <laughs> Give it to the kids. I don't think it's likely there'll be a three way tie. I doubt it will be either. But if it came down to that, we, I think you could use their actual uh, number out of 100, add them together. Um, Divide them by five. five well, you can do that. Yeah. All right, that's our plan that, C. That balances it. Yes, <clears throat> plan C. Okay, so the for 
tie amongst first and second, what I just said. If there is a three-way tie, then we use the scores. Average. Best average. Best average score. A average? Average. So like if you have uh, a 80, a 82, a 88, a 90, and an so 85. So you want to average each you section. Add, you add them together and you divide it by no, five. No, each. No, just, just the total on the bottom. Yeah, just the total on the bottom. You d divide it by five, okay. and that's their score. All right. So, now, what if there's a four-way tie? I would say <laughs> and everybody wins. Same thing, average. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think so either. <laughs> oh, wow. If it does, we should all play the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because we, we got into a situation with another event I'm involved with where we had, we had tiebreakers. And the tiebreakers didn't break the tie. So. <laughs> <laughs> Any case. So funny. I always think of the World Cup in these circumstances. Whoever got the least yellow cards. And then <laughs> that's like level three or something. Right, yeah. Okay. Do you want me to read the motion? <laughs> I'm sure it's lovely. Kelsey. <laughs> so, um, Adria moved that in the case of a tie, in rankings of the sustainability award, each committee member will individually vote which of the tie nominations should be number one and number two. Yes. Does that make sense? Sounds it does. Okay, yes. We need a okay. second and discussion. I'll second. I'll second it. Aye. Aye. All, yeah, all those in favor, aye. 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 Motion passes. Okay. Wow, we wrote a lot. All right. <clears throat> Another, do you have any other questions, Kelsey? Yes. Um, so as far as the presentation of the award, um, my initial thought is to give kind of certificates of recognition recognition to all of the nominees yep. that did not receive mm -hmm. first place. And then I know we had talked about kind of the presentation of the award and what it would look like. Do we want, I'm going to have to order something probably, um, and it'll have to be turned around pretty quickly. So I just want to get an idea of what you guys want. Do you want it to be a plaque? Do you want it to be one of those nice like glass looking the plastic things, yeah. Um, do we have any thoughts on that? Yeah. I wonder if we can get like a glass wave or something. I like the freestanding things rather yeah. than a wall plaque. People don't have yeah. places. Why not you? Why not put them on the side that says Cocoa Beach recognizes people, like where it says Kelly Slater, and it's got like the high school whatever, mm -hmm. whenever something. We think. we probably recognize them for the sustainability. I, I think feel like there's going to be a second, a perpetual plaque, right? Yes, we That's talked about, in. but we don't have a location because we don't. It'll be in City Hall. Yeah. Okay. In the okay. someday City Hall. They don't <laughs> wear anything. Yeah, no Kelsey, Kelsey, the question is, uh, we're going to, you know, apparently going to, I thought we were going to do a perpetual award that would be updated every year with, yes. the, with the new winner. But we probably also want to have one that the teacher care or teacher who well whoever the submitting, submitting, submitting person yes. is carries away with them. Mm. And I, you two guys weren't here, but I think a couple months ago I brought brought in some awards that I had I had gotten for whatever reason. And one of them was the the kind of plexiglass thing, which was about yay tall and had you know da 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 all sorts of wonderful stuff on it. Those, I think those 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 are kind of neat. That's kind of I think what you were referring to mm -hmm. with the glass type of thing, like a prism type thing. Well, it's it's about the size of a paperback book, a little bit longer, a bit larger, and it's clear and it's engraved in it. Whatever oh, cool. the award is, like da 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 da. And they, it's actually pretty neat. Is it in the budget to do something like that? Yes. Yeah, those they things. Are they got plenty of money in their budget. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I have no idea what awards okay. are going for these I have an days. idea for kind of what you guys are looking for, so I'll see what I can find, and we'll see if we can yeah. get it in four days after <laughs> we announce our scores. Is there a local uh, place that... We we might have I'm going to see if we can get it locally. If not, it might just have to be... We can recycle some of the t or something, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. Depending on how quickly yeah, I can get I it. Okay. Food. All right. And then we'll have the perpetual plaque in addition yes. to the award. Right. At least location. give them a photograph of this is what's coming, and then, yeah, right. Maybe a week or two That's later, a good yeah. yeah, screenshot. <laughs> or do you think you should? We should push the Send award them out <laughs> in the uh, uh, commission meeting to the next meeting. 
Well, we're trying to do it around Earth Day, so I again, get it. I understand. Yeah. <coughs> Meeting after the 18th would probably be the next month, or probably in May, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Let's do it then. Well, in case, move forward. Yep. Yes, I feel like we got momentum on this. Let's keep going. Let's do it. <laughs> Other questions? That was my last. That was my last question. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So then next week we will come with our rankings completed at that meeting, and a winner will be determined. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Then we will move on from the award and go to the 2023 sustainability plan updates. So last meeting we talked about the lengthy sustainability plan and parsing through that to make suggestions on what should be changed, omitted, added. So does anyone have, <laughs> Kelsey, did we talk about, do we have a, like a plan with milestones and how we want to accomplish this? Because it is a gargantuan task. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I apologize. I said I would give you guys like a marked up version, but as you know, I was out for a couple weeks. So didn't get to that. I'm sorry. Um, hopefully I can have that for you guys in May. Yeah. But I think I like your idea of kind of coming up with a timeline so we can kind of stick to it. I don't know how far we'll get today without the information that I need to provide to you guys. Mm -hmm. um, so. Okay. So timeline. then the plan is you will get us the um, sort of marked up suggest mm -hmm. you know ideas and things we will review that so then at our our next meeting i don't know that we have plan time to because we have the freedom seven presentation and i don't know that we'll have time to discuss changes at that meeting does we, anyone i does anyone think we will i'm open to suggestions on that well this was a, a a six-month plan from what I took at the last meeting is that correct we want to have something in place within six months we put, we put a month what did we say is it October or no? yeah I believe it was October. Is that what we said? okay I, I learned a lot from the last time I you know I, I read I've read this plan uh, a couple of times and I was like well it's really well written but now understanding more about the elements element 1a 1b 1c 1d really there's a lot of the things are you know not necessarily our the committee ourselves it's you know it's other departments so there's only really a few things that, that i could see that that we would impact is that correct kelsey so I think the intent of, you know, the main goal of this committee when it was kind of chartered back in 2016, I think, was to come up with a sustainability plan. And so it is to kind of advise what the city should focus on as far as sustainability. So not necessarily actions that the committee will be taking, but things that the committee feels is important for the city, whether it's the committee itself, city staff, citizens, any part of the city should focus some effort on. So although you all will not necessarily be involved with the fleet, the committee at that time felt that, you know, putting these recommendations in there was important. And I know Bob was here from the beginning, so I don't know if you have anything else. Yeah, I, I think the committee is more kind of an outreach, education, coordination type operation rather than creating a lot of doc documents and projects and programs and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. We, you know, identify, identify topics that need to be discussed and, and something something happened and uh, you know and, and, and uh, I won't say that's all we do but it's a lot of it and probably the one thing that we really hopefully we the committee we involved with is the public outreach and education portion of it and uh, that, that I think is the, that I think it's probably our key function that's something we we as a group need to be doing. Do we think maybe the plan should reflect, maybe, I don't know, sort of organize itself to reflect the things that the committee actively does and the things that we advise on? Is that a meaningful, I'm 
asking to the, the, the group. Is that a meaningful distinction? Do we think? I don't know. Just kind of you know, thinking how we're talking about this. Yeah, I think I think you're I think you're pretty on that you're pretty much on topic there. That uh, <clears throat> we you know we advise we suggest make suggestions. Yeah, we we certainly don't we certainly can't direct. Okay. But uh, <laughs> so kind of defining what's our purview here that we can take action on versus what do we advise on? Well, as I said, I think probably what, what we truly can take action on is kind of the outreach education right. portion of it. Uh, beyond that, it's kind of, in, kind of an advisory capacity, I, I, I would think. I, mean, I, may be, I may be overlooking some things mm -hmm. that would be directly involved in them, but that, or maybe, right off the top of my head, that's, that what's, that's what comes up. Or maybe even facilitating discussion. Right, there you go. You know, There's putting, another thing. Putting together a couple of two groups, two groups yeah, or to, more to discuss it, yeah. <laughs> So then that's something maybe we want to just kind of keep in mind. Can you, Kelsey, when you do the marked up version, when you send it to us, mm -hmm. um, can you send, I mean, that as a note, as you know, just like things that we discuss that we want to sort of tackle when we approach the plan? Do you mean the, the committee? Yes things in the plan as it currently exists that the committee would be able to take action on? Things that we want to sort of delineate in the plan. Like how do we want to, you know, we're talking about how do we want to update the plan. So part of the update would be maybe, and I don't know, you know, something we want to look at and think about is sort of determining what can the committee take action on and what does the committee do in an advisory or facilitation capacity? Like, and what is that distinction? Yeah. And a lot is of this it, is that meaningful. I don't know. I ha I need to like spend some time thinking about it and looking at it. But I think it's an important question we might need to answer in the plan. And a lot of a lot of the things that need to be updated in that are are, are dates. We have yes. there are a ton of yes. dates in there that we're that are past and have things haven't happened. Mm. So do we want to tackle this maybe in chunks then, and just sort of so. say and just you know divvy it up, not between us, but as far as yeah, you know sections one and two in, in a certain like time that. block and, and then moving forward from there yeah. instead of, you know, just take off bites of it. I like that. I think we get, uh, Kelsey's initial um, uh, notes on, on, on it, what your suggestions are, and then maybe we divide it up in quarters, mm -hmm. four, four quarters, and okay. do what we can. Yeah. Okay. So then at the me next meeting, by the next meeting, we'll have your notes and we will talk about um, which section we're going to tackle first and sort of set the outline for that. Uh, we'll do that at the is next that for meeting. next Wednesday? No. No, no, the next no. official meeting, which is May 3rd. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? I think so, yeah. Okay, so that's our next steps for that. Kelsey, do you have any other suggestions? Um, I can kind of give you guys a... So I'll send you my notes, but I think sometimes it's helpful to kind of walk through them. So I think in the next meeting, okay. we're going to have Freedom 7. So if you want, I can kind of walk through some yeah. of those things yeah. as the plan currently exists and where we are. Mm -hmm. You know, everything's not going to be It may not take us very much time for the next meeting to come up with who the winner is. Yeah. Right. And uh, yeah. that'll yeah. leave us some time so, for discussion, maybe. So um, next next week is a special meeting. All we're doing is submitting scores. Yeah. Okay. Nothing we else. We can't do anything else. All right. The May meeting is where... We'll Peace. continue regular meetings. Peace. Very good. However, I may be out of here June, July. We'll be out of here June, July, and August. <laughs> oh, you won't be here? Oh, I'll have to call in. Uh, All right. And so then, anything else on the plan updates that anyone wants to no. recommend or ask questions about? All right, so we have a, a plan moving forward. So then we will move on to the next item, which is the sustainability events and outreach. So we had talked about event topics and format. Um, we came up with some ideas. I know, Kelsey, you had mentioned that you haven't had an opportunity to do your reach out. So we will wait for your responses on those. Yes. OK, so that's the plan for that. And then we talked about sustainability branding. Um, did you have a chance to find out about the contest idea? Is that something feasible that we could do? We, I had recommend, I had suggested as an idea. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. 
That's all right. Um, so then if that's something that's feasible for us, it might be something we want to consider. If not, we'll... Well, it wasn't at the last meeting. What was okay, that? So, that um, was okay, so I had this crazy idea <laughs> that um, for the sort of sustainability slogan for the city that we put it out to the community to come up with an idea and have run it like a contest. I don't know all the ins and outs of it yet. Um, but the winner would be, you know, they would create, they, we would pick their slogan as the sustainability slogan and go from there. And hopefully it would foster engagement in the community and get people involved and interested in what we're doing. Um, there was some question we don't know about how that would actually be able to be run as this, uh, you know, through the city. Like what are the requirements? Are there ADA requirements or just fairness rules or whatever those are, we, we just don't know about that yet. So we are information gathering to see if it's a feasible idea. Thank you. All right, so then we have items to take forward for next time. And does anyone have anything else to say about branding? All right, then we will move on to committee member announcements. Any committee member have an announcement uh, that they would one, like to one share? One quick thing, I, I yes. look, look for Minutemen muster on here, and here's the description from location and schedule. Race starts and ends at, on the track at Cocoa Beach High School. <coughs> Race route is through neighborhood surrounding the high school. Starting time, 8 o'clock. Parking available in the high school east and west lots. Da, 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 da. That's it. That's as far as I've got for any kind of location. Does it say what time the event? Eight o'clock. It starts at eight o'clock. How long does it normally go? Do we know? That's a five k. So it'd be what? A couple three It'll hours. Be done by eleven. Yeah. Eleven thirty. If you have a lot of walkers, otherwise it'd be yeah. it's just running. Oh, I mean, thirty minutes. So. Yeah. And of course, uh, yeah, if it says in the neighborhoods, I'm going to assume it probably it probably well, you know, it's going to be. I don't know if they're going <coughs> east or west down the streets. I don't know. Yeah, they're going to go. Gonna be yeah. Busy it's going to be a one lane. So, in any case, when you find out more, <laughs> we'll have to adjust, I guess. Okay. It, it might have to be moved. Yeah. Because I'm worried the, the drive through is right there where the parking yeah. lot is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that will be well, the start and finish. Day for their 5K. The, it's at the Public Works building, is where the tree giveaway is. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. And well, the, 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 the track, track is, is right, right next yeah, door. Yeah, that's, that's not going to my, I'd, I suspect they'll probably run the 5K through the neighborhoods out here, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't, yeah, I don't know which way they're going to go. Who, uh, who coordinated that race? I think it's the high school. The high school. Oh, it's the high school. Well, they're it's either the, the high school or the... booster, I think, is I in you. charge of it. All right, well, stay tuned. We'll, we'll be changing the <laughs> Kiwanis. <laughs> Cocoa Beach Kiwanis is... Uh, okay. They won't be getting no award. <laughs> Can I ask your guys' opinion about, um, do you think people would attend if it was on Sunday the 23rd? Uh, well, in the morning, the obvious conflict is people who go to church. church. That's, that's, yeah. that's a potential conflict there. Um, okay. yeah. Any case. In the afternoon, maybe. I mean, uh, I think it would be better if you do it on a Sunday. Yeah, I'd say if you do it on a Sunday, you do like a lunchtime-ish. Okay, I'll have to see what the availability is, but I'll let you guys know. Okay. 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 Great. The, the one, of, one other thing I have is there's a meeting up in New Smyrna called the Shore Meeting, which is an acronym for sharing our, sharing our research with everyone. It's a uh, kind of like a lagoon meeting, uh, and that is on, I think, let me check the date here again. Da, 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 da. It's on the 21st, and in New, the meeting is in New Smyrna. So, but. Uh, I've been to several of them. They have a lot of inf a lot of information from the agencies. Plus, uh, students do do presentations on their pro both high school and college students have done presentations on projects they've done in the lagoon and in and in uh, in the Mesquite Lagoon and actually around the Daytona area as well. But it's an interesting meeting and a lot of good inf a lot of good information. Thank you. Any other announcements from the committee? All right, there is no public present, so there will be no public comment. So our next meeting is April 12th at 6.30, and that is the special meeting to review the rankings for the award.